Hello there, I'm here today with my 2012 Husqvarna LGT24K54. I had a drag link on my tractor, uh, basically broke. The ball joint blew out on it at the actual steering gear here. Anyway, I'm going to go through some uh, how to's on replacing this component and or components. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, right there in the center, that's your primary bolt that holds the steering gear. Uh, that is a uh, 19 millimeter and uh, there's a nut on the top side and it's rather difficult to get to so I use a very short 15 16 as you can see it's pretty short it gets into that tight area because the problem is you have your drive belt is right in the way and a lot of other components and you need something that's compact to hold the nut um, I basically broke it free by hand no problem uh, I'm gonna move up to the front end so I can point out a few things about where the drag link connects to your steering knuckles and a couple of the wrench sizes and things of that nature and then continue explaining uh, the removal and then reinstallation even though I'm physically not doing it it's at least to walk you through how to do it because it is fairly straightforward <clears throat> okay up here hopefully the lights not killing you there sorry if it's too bright on the drag link where it connects here to the steering knuckle, the uh, nut on the top, that's a 13 millimeter. The nut on the bottom, that's a 14. And I will say that the nuts on both of the drag links that connect to the left and right steering knuckle, the nuts come off clockwise, okay? so you don't want to try to tighten it if you're trying to remove it and that applies to where the drag link connects to the steering gear the nuts come off clockwise as well uh, pretty much all you do is loosen that large nut and bolt at the steering gear you'll take your drag links loose take the nuts out these will pop out then take your nut and bolt loose the steering gear will drop straight down and then all you have to do is you'll install your new parts on your steering gear plate and the reinstallation is you put the plate or the gear up against the shaft of the steering wheel and put the nut and the bolt that I illustrated at the beginning in place just install it and also there is a large washer that goes between your steering gear plate and the metal bracket and I want to walk around here and show that to you so you do not leave that out because it will be on your tractor and let's see if I can shine the light up here if you look there's a metal washer that goes between the steering gear plate and this bracket up here on the top just make sure you install that there you'll leave that nut and bolt just hand tight not very super tight not needed then all you do is you'll hook your uh, drag links up to each of the steering knuckles left and right side install your nuts tighten that up then come back and then I tighten up this nut and bolt here in the center I did a, everything was basically just good and snug and that's pretty much all that's required I'm going to walk over here and show you my old parts and some part numbers being that this tractor is made by American Yard Products and they make a lot of other equipment and they may share similar if not the same components okay Oh, wrong one this is the uh, left side you see where the joint blew out and so I figured if one failed the other one's probably bound to do the same and being you have to drop the gear plate you're really better off to do both 
these drag links were like $41 a piece. You might as well say they're gold plated. Okay, anyway, if you want the part numbers, there's the right hand side drag link, and that is a Husqvarna part number that Parts Tree references it by. If you were to order it, there's the left hand side. And if you would like to replace your locking nuts, which are used on the end of the drag links at the steering knuckle and the steering gear, that is the part number for that, as you can see. And I went ahead and just had ordered uh, new nuts to install uh, because they were pretty cheap and no harm in that. So if you have any further questions uh, on this, please feel free to ask. I'm sure I'll leave something off. Uh, you always think of things that you forgot to put in videos when you're doing them. But uh, that's why you can always ask questions. So hopefully this is helpful. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.